guys, Ken Rocks here. Today we are at my my testing chamber that I built with very crap pixel art of a command block interface. So, uh, today's video is going to be on a reward system. Uh, credit goes to Dragon Oz for uh, creating this. I put some tweaks on it to make it uh, work better and uh, be more. I guess interactive and uh, responsive. So let's get started. So test one. This would be a player activated, whether it be in a map or on a server. Uh, it basically, if you look over in the right of the screen right here, it switches my reward to one and then back to zero. And when it's at one, it'll give me ten diamonds. And then at zero, it gives me none. So this is test two. This one, I need to be in easy difficulty for. This one. Um, I'm, you're going to see, if you're counting, uh, that's three, four, five. Then I get a diamond block. This one works with a another uh, scoreboard that's running in the background of Spider. So every time I kill a spider, it, it goes up, and once it reaches five, it sets my reward score to two instead of one, and uh, then back then reward goes down to zero, and spider goes down to zero. So as you see there, I got another diamond block. So uh, the next one, okay, yeah, stone. This one I don't need a sword for. This one, I'm also going to go into peaceful for because I hate slimes. Um, this one, when I press the button, gives me five stone. And if I just line this up and mine it all down, you're going to see once I hit five, it goes back to zero and I get a cake. Okay, this one works identical to the spider one. As in, once it hits five, it sets my reward score to three instead of two. And uh, my stone goes down to zero again, and so does my reward once I get a cake. So let's go out here. If I go game mode one, this is the machine that's behind it. <coughs> so in Dragon Oz's, I don't know how to say that. That's plural. Or not plural, but uh, possessive. So in his, he has these command blocks over here next to it. And I've been getting trouble with that. So. Basically, this is the player activated one. This one, if it's if their um, if their score on reward is a minimum of one, and is equal to one, you get ten diamonds. And then this one runs after that one and clears uh, the reward score down to zero for anybody with a reward score of one. Uh, this is a prep one that I set up. It sets up the reward dummy and uh, it sets the reward to zero for everybody. And then this one creates spider. And this one creates stone. Uh, this is just like a prep thing to start it all up. Um, so this is the first one. I'm actually going to label it. And I will be putting a world download in the description. <laughs> Eid. First. One. One. Okay. S second. One. D. Lol. Uh, third one. One, one slash? Okay. So, uh, yeah. And then I'm gonna need another sign. And sorry, this is just prep. Okay. So, I'll label those later. Um, basically, this is the second one. This one, if your score on reward is equal to two, gives you a diamond block. Then this one is same thing, it just clears it. And then I'm gonna need another one. Actually, can can you copy NBT on signs? I wonder. Oh you can. Nice. So I'm just gonna throw this one over here. God damn it. No, that's the third one. This is second and then third. I'll just clear that. Okay, so uh, this one does the same thing as the first two. Except for instead of giving diamonds, this one gives a cake and sets, uh, gives you cake if your reward is three. 
I'm actually going to set my thing back to reward because reward. So, um, let's look, take a look at this. This would be spiders, I think. Yeah. So, this one, this is how the spiders one functions. Basically, it sets this the scoreboard score of anybody with um, five points on spider to two, the reward score. And then this clears their spider score. Uh, and spider functions, if I look at this one, it creates an objective that is a stat kill entity spider. And you can use this for basically anything, like watch. Slash scoreboard objectives add uh, lol test and then s yeah there's a lot like you can just it goes on and on and on and on and on like to the point where basically this is just everything it's everything you can use items craft items mine kill use craft mine kill use craft break everything so um let's just do you stat dot use item bow i think no yeah minecraft bow so uh now if i go lol test um and then I take a bow. This it just it just counts however many times you do whatever stat you selected. So this one it just counts how many times I've shot a bow. So using that, <laughs> see if I can hit it again. Oh, it like walked right into it. Uh, that's too close. Oh, too far. I'm just gonna hit it one more time. Freaking. Maybe not. Okay. I am bad snipes. Oh! Okay. So, uh, using that, I just did stat kill entity spider. And it just counts up until it hits five. Then it sets your reward to t two and then gets rid of spider score. And then you just start from zero. And this one is the stone, which it does the same thing as th this one except for instead of stat kill entity spider it's stat mine block minecraft stone yeah so it's pretty simple um i hope i didn't destroy anything there i feel like i did actually how far is my reach oh no i didn't okay so if you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more redstone tutorials on my channel Remember to leave a like or comment on any suggestions, anything I messed up in the tutorial. Uh, so yeah, uh, new channel, subscribe, favorites are always appreciated. Uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace.